Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> um, I've got a a little folio here. Well, it's not little, it's pretty big. It's eight by eight, but um, it's, it's different than most. This is laying, it's meant to stand up like this. So this is the top that you're seeing here. And this is the front that would face out. So you've got, it, it's made to look like a, like a general store. You know, I've got the awning up here and it says general store. Down here, there's a bunch of crates with apples and watermelons and lemons. And there's a little boy sitting here with his basket of fruit. And um, this bottom part slides off like this. And it's just a, it's a tray that the album sits in. And the top part, which is the awning, slides off. And then you're left with the mini album. Stop it. Sorry, my dog's being destructive. So this part is eight by eight. Um, on the front here, there's a picture window. And through the window, there's acetate here. Through the window, you can see various things that are that have to do with the general store. But this is a, this slides out so that you could put your own picture on here if you wanted to, and then slide it back in. So it's just up to you. Or the, just the background there is very pretty. You could leave, leave it out completely if you wanted to. So this is attached to this, this is a gatefold album, which means it comes together in the middle here. This is attached to the left side and there's a magnet on the right side holding it onto here. So when you fold it open, on the left you get this. So there's room for a small picture here, <clears throat> which could go behind this. And then here we've got a pocket. You could put small pictures here. And then in the pockets you could put whatever you want, but I've got a couple of Cut apart. So this one is a like a line drawing of the general store, and then this is like the inside. Um, of the general store, I, I don't know how many people know this, but you know, back in the old days, you couldn't just walk into a supermarket and buy stuff. You had to, you went into the general store and you told the person working there what you wanted, and then they gathered it up and gathered it up for you. And just a fun fact, I'm in Memphis. The first self-service grocery store was in Memphis, and that was Piggly Wiggly. We don't have Piggly Wigglies here anymore, but they are they do have them in other parts of the country. So that pocket is closed, is, uh, has a magnet closure on it. And then if you open this side, this looks like a pocket, but it's not really. So you could flip this up and then over. So you've got another area here that you could put a picture. You could put small pictures here if you wanted to. And then you have a waterfall here. And then that's held closed with a, um, with a magnet. That brings us to the center part, which is hit, which has a tie closure. There's, we've got some I would call that wine colored seam binding there. So down here on this bottom part, we've got some flaps. Here I've got a, there's a, one of the cut aparts here that's open. You could put a picture there or you could put a picture on here. Um, over here, this is, this is open and you can put a picture behind that and that flips open. Again, you have a um, cut apart here at the general store, your shopping list here. But you could put a picture back there, whatever you want. You know, and, and just because I've got these things stuck here or these up here, that doesn't mean you need to leave them there. You can move those throughout the album wherever you want. And this flips open. That was meant to go here where there's another little cut apart. And that flips open and I've got a, another cut apart there. 
and then you have a large, large area there for a photo. And then we have a cut apart here that says, come on in, and there's like advertisements, old timey advertisements in the back, and a rocking chair. And then this top part here is a pocket. And in that pocket, I've got a, another cut apart. Um, this is, you know, you can put your picture on there and then slide it under here if you wanted to. It's plain on the back. I always leave my, my mats plain on the back so that you can do journaling there or put another picture there. So then this part flips out and over here there's a very large pocket um, down here we've got some canisters and then I fussy cut two little bitty canisters and taped them on there glued them on there so that you've got a like a little tuck spot there and I've got one of the journaling cards in there and then this up here is a pocket and I've got this is a um, fold out so there's room for five photos on there and then two large photo mats and then here I've got a belly band and down here there's the stopper says general store and I've got three photo mats on here And that flips open and this is a continuation of these canisters from over here they are also here and there's another little um, where I've got the small canisters there and then that sits under there and this is another large pocket here I've got the same sort of fold out with room for five photos and then two large photo mats. And then this is the very back part of the folio. And I have a staggered waterfall here. So you've got room for, assuming you didn't put a picture on the front, one, two, three, four, five, six photos there. And that all folds back up. Um, so I don't think I said in the beginning, uh, this is a design by Sandy Trafker. Um, she's one of the, on the design team at Crunchy Craft Creations. Um, and this uh, paper collection is called Crafting at the General Store by Country Craft Creations. So this is what the actual album looks like. The back part here is like uh, old wood. So when you're standing it in your, in your holder here, got your little roof. You know, the front is um, this stripe. Both of the spines are this flower, and then the back part is the old wood. So it looks like a building. So that is my Crafting at the Journal Store folio. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.